everybody welcome back to my channel I am the caffeinated crafter and today I have an unboxing for you um, I ordered this kit off of Amazon this is from the company Cotart um, and I've never ordered from them before it just came in the mail this afternoon so I wanted to go ahead and get into this and check this canvas out and see what it looked like so um, if you are new to my channel, welcome. I hope you enjoy what I have to share with you. Um, I do some diamond painting and some cross-stitching on this channel. So, and if you are returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for subscribing and watching my videos and spending time with me. So, let's get into this canvas. So, like I said, this is from Cotart. And, whoops, sorry I bumped you. I ordered this little owl. Now, I did not bust into this. This came this way in the box. My box was a little beat up and this came with a sticker already kind of cut open like that. So fingers crossed that everything is in here. We'll see. Um, so this is a 16 by 20. I don't remember if it's round or square. Um, so, but, uh, this came in, as you can hear, it's a hard, you know, artist tube. I like it. I like the tube that it came in. It's very, it's very, uh, secure. I mean, if, except for that, part. but I mean, you know what I mean? Like, it's not like some soft, like, you know, just cloth covering. This is pretty, this is a pretty hard tube. So, and the, it's not damaged or anything, so I do like that. Like I said, my box is beat up, but that's the mail for you. So let's get into this. Like I said, I've never opened one of these before, so we're just going to open everything together and pretend like this is our first time diamond painting. So the outside of the canvas is a little bit, um, a little rough. A little plasticky. Sorry for my finger. I got, I pinched it. <laughs> I just noticed that I pinched it in a bifold door the other day when I was closing my laundry room door and I got a blood blister. It's all dried up, but it still looks really gross. I apologize. Anyway, um, this feels very, um, rough and plasticky. Um, not really soft. I usually do uh, diamond paintings from companies that are a little, that use a different canvas. So let's do this, let's get this. And I do have to roll it the other way so that it kind of flattens out. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Da, da, da. How's everybody's day going? I hope you guys are having a great day. We're getting busier and busier at work, um, but my boss was able to get one of the other nurses to come back and help me, so it's all good. We're getting, we're getting there. All right, you ready? Oh, look at that. That is super cute. I love it. That is a really cute picture. And if you wanna tag them on Instagram, hashtag CotartDP, this is really cute. So as you can see, it's a poured glue because it's got the clear cover on it. If it was uh, the double-sided adhesive, it would have the opaque paper. Um, but this is a clear cover, so it's the poured glue. Um, let's take a look at the canvas and then we'll get into this stuff over here because I see some stuff in here that I'm kind of digging. So, all right, so says on here the size, gives you a little hashtag, and it has the, the name of the company at the top. And then here's the schematic, and that is like the identifying uh, number. What's that called? Kind of like the ID number, you know what I mean? You guys know what, what the word is. You know what the word is. I know what the word is, but I can't think of the word. But that's the identifying number for it. Uh, anyway, and then it's got the um, it's got the legend both at the top and at the bottom. 
So, I mean, this isn't a huge painting, but it is nice that it's at the top and the bottom, um, you know, for like if you're down here, you can just look here instead of having to look way up there. So let's take a look at the legend. This is, hold on one second, let me just, oh, there's 24 colors in this. And it looks like they're, um, looks like they're DMC numbers. So let's take a look. I'm just looking to see how easy, okay, like how similar these, these are. So they're all letters or numbers. There's a couple numbers in here, three and a six. So there is, let's see, SJ, there is a lowercase e, there is a lowercase and an uppercase T, but that lowercase T has got an orange background and it's white, so I don't think that's going to be too confusing. And then the lowercase E is pretty big in the size. Hey, Psst. no sir. Uh, my, cat's, my cat's trying to misbehave and scratch on the couch. Um, hey. Oh, you're over here. Um, yeah, so these, um, there's a four and a five. So yeah, these symbols on the legend itself look really nice. I like that. They're, they're nice and clear, like easy to read on the legend. Very easy to read on the legend. Both sides too. So let me check and see... And that, yeah, the glue is really nice. It's very sticky. And then just show you the back. There's a couple wrinkles here, right here, as you can see. But I want to show you something. Because this is a poured glue. And I've seen a lot of people on Facebook uh, worry about their poured glue canvases having wrinkles and stuff. So you see these wrinkles? So they would be, so they would be right here, right? 99% of the time, it's just because of the canvas being rolled and the plastic not being on the glue. So the, the wrinkles were over here, and you can see it right there. We're going to pull the plastic back. And you see you see the oh, almost like an indentation on the glue. It's fine. It's still sticky there. It's still sticky there. So I'm gonna flatten this out and it's gonna be fine. I don't even, like you can barely even see them now. So it, it's not that like, it's not that the actual canvas is wrinkled itself per se. It's just of the way that the plastic was on the canvas. So I'm not worried about any little like rivets or anything like the, these aren't like these aren't like the adhesive ones where the adhesive is coming off of the canvas and you have a pucker in the in the canvas and now it's not going to stick this is going to stick just fine i'm not going to have any problems with this whatsoever and it's going to flatten out it's going to flatten out so i am not worried about this at all yeah, I'm not worried about this at all. As you can see, sorry, I keep going back to it, but I just want to show you. As you can see, they're almost gone already. So let's take a look at the drill, or at the drills. We'll do that in a minute. Let's take a look at the symbols. So they're clear over here. These are sixes. So I will say that it it, it might be a little concerning because you have... Six is here. This is a lowercase e. That's a g. But when I'm looking at it in person, I can see it pretty good. And I'm holding it probably reading like what you reading a book about that distance away. Those are easy to read. So it's kind of like almost the background, like the, the dark, the darker colors. Yeah, but so far, 
yeah, I don't think it, I don't think it's going to be too bad. Like I said, I can see how the, they do have different background colors. They do have different, like the, the E is like a black and the six is a dark blue. So you just, I mean, you know, this thing is supposed to be a relaxing hobby, but it's not supposed to be mindless. You know what I mean? Like you shouldn't be able to just like numbingly put drills down and not be paying attention to what you're doing. I don't think it's going to be too bad. I do see some bees scattered in there that could be a little bit confusing. But again, I think it's just going to be a matter of really paying attention to what you're doing. And if you have a light pad, I have a light pad, but I don't really use it right now. Um, but if you have a light pad, I bet that would probably clear things up a lot. So let's take a look at the insides. <laughs> the insides. That sounds kind of gross, doesn't it? Okay, so our stuff came like this. Oh, look at that. Okay, so this gives you your instructions on how to diamond paint. Please do not allow children to play alone. Recommended to see a doctor when you swallow up. Okay. All right. So don't swallow up. I think they mean don't swallow the gems. <laughs> I'm not really sure how you would swallow up. Swallow them up, I guess. I don't know if you're really hungry. Um, I don't plan on eating them for dinner, though. And I still actually, honestly, I don't know if this is a round or a square. I didn't even... Let me see. I don't know. I don't know if it's a square. It looks like it might be a square or it could be a round without the training wheels. We'll find out when we look at the gems because I haven't, I haven't really seen that anywhere yet. So there's, if you have a sticker maker, you can cut this up and put this into your sticker maker and have labels for your containers. This is so clear and like legible. Like I really like that. That's like, yeah, I really like this. Um, I don't have a sticker maker. So what I will be doing when I kit this up is I will be taping these onto the lids of my containers with just with like a little scotch tape. And cause that's what I usually do. And you know, it's all good. It'll work. So what is this? It's like a little postcard. Oh, this is thanking me for my order. Tells me how I can contact them if I have any problems. Um, and there's a little QR code. Not really sure what that QR code is. I'll have to scan that later. Maybe it's a little thank you. That's really nice. I like that little, I like that. It's a nice little New York City scene. Okay, so, oh, what else? <gasps> Ooh, they give you labels. Hey. So I could also use these to label my containers if I didn't want to cut this up. So you have you know, choices. So that's pretty cool too. Or I could just save these and use them for a different use. I like these labels. That's really cool. Good job, Cotard. I like that. All right. So let's bust into these drills. Oh, they're rounds. It's a round. Round with no training wheels. That's the circles. Training wheels, if you don't know, are when you get the circles. Oh, I Hold on. Let me do this off camera. Hold on. Actually, no, you know what? If you don't like the noise, wait until I open these up. And I'll bump you again. <laughs> Jesus. Um, so, what I was saying was, uh, when if you hear people talking about training wheels, um, that is when you... Um, that's when you have your symbol. Let me flip this back over one more time. That's when you have your symbol and there's a circle around the symbol telling you where to put the drill. And this does not have that. I like that because sometimes when they make the, the circles too big, it exceeds outside of the, of the round drill and then you can see the lines around, around the drills. All right, so let's, we'll get into these in just a minute. Let's bust into this toolkit. What do they give you? 
they give you a lot of pens. Holy cow, this for a 16 by 20, this is nuts. Okay, so this kit, I got four pink pens. Two of them, this one has a, I think that might, I'm not good with the multi-placers because I don't use them a whole lot. I think this is a six placer. This one almost looks like it could be like a 15 placer. I think I might've seen another video where the cloudy one that big is the 15 placer. I don't, no, that's not, that's a nine placer. What am I talking about? I'm such a moron. Cause if this is a six, then obviously that would fit like three more. So that's a nine placer. I'm an idiot. And then this is a three placer. Look at this one. This is the one that I started using before, the three placer. That's the one I'm actually not too bad with. But four pens, holy cow. Thank God, because I was running low. I'm down to like 50 of these. <laughs> and then they give you a pair of the cheap little tweezers. You don't really need these too much, but yeah, they give you a little tweezers. And then they give you two green boats. So if you want to diamond paint with somebody, you obviously can. A plate of wax. And then, oh, two plates of wax, three plates of wax. Holy cow. Three plates of wax. And then some baggies if this is how you wanted to diamond paint. They give you quite a few baggies too. So if you wanted to put your diamonds in here, now we'll say I've done that before and I end up getting a lot of static with mine when I did that. So just a heads up, if you use the baggies, just be forewarned, you might get some static. Um, but um, you can combat the static by using some dryer sheets from what I've been told. I haven't tried it myself, but from what I've seen, you can use dryer sheets to help combat the static. Okay, so that's in the toolkit from them. That is a very, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? That has a lot of stuff in it. That's a lot of stuff, especially for one this size. It's a 16 by 20 and holy cow. All right, so let's take a look at these colors. So like I was saying, this is a round. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at the colors now. And we'll check out the diamonds as well. All right. So, there are a few stragglers in here. I'm going to kind of try to do my hand like this because that's really gross close up. Look at that. Look, look. Ew. <laughs> it's just a, a bruise now, really. Okay. So, this one does have a few uh, stragglers in here. I think probably from one of these. But... So remember what I was telling you about the, the number at the top of the canvas? What side was it on? The identifying number here, it matches with this number right here. So if you store your diamonds separate from your canvas, then you can identify what this matches up with by matching that number to the number at the top of the canvas, okay? Does that make sense? So, and then this tells you right here, we can use this, so I don't have to keep flipping this over. This right here, this tells you A07741, right? A07741. And this, tell, this tells you how many diamonds they're giving you. Um, I will say, I don't know what this number is for. That might be something else with the identifying part because I think that number is on all of them. Yeah, that particular number is on all of them. Well, this one and this one, obviously. But this number is on all of them, so I'm not sure what this number is for. Oh, and this tells you the symbol. That's a T, a lowercase T. That's a lowercase T. So this will give you, so this, but the bag itself will give you the color number, the painting number, the um, number that they're listing it as, A07, and then the symbol. 
So that gives you a lot of information on the bag itself, and it doesn't cover up the entire bag either. So we've got, Jesus. I got a new tripod. I just got it today, and it's like right in front of me right now. So it's like hard for me to, I'm getting used to it. Okay, so we've got $741. 995. I will say this is one of my most favorite colors. There's a few of them that I absolutely adore, and 995 has always been one of my favorites. It's like an electric blue. Um, it's been my favorite since I was a kid because you know, cross stitching the DMC colors are the same, and 995 was always one of my favorites when I was a kid, too. So, 310, 796. 823 this is a this looks black in my lighting right now but this is actually a very dark blue 823 and I think 9 is it 926 or something like that are very dark blues and they're used a lot in uh, for background colors along with 310 996 there's another one of my favorites here's another bag of 310. 797. It's a pretty shade of blue right there. 839. This is a brown color. 3325. Nice pretty pale blue. 301. 815. This is a red, a dark red, like a maroon red. 891. I think this is more of like a pinkish red. I'm trying to think of my thread colors. I'm using, I'm doing a cross stitch project that has 140, 143 colors in it, I think. So I'm seeing a lot of these colors. Um, 3340. 307. This color is called lemon. That's 307. 906. 3607. I really like this shade of pink. This is very nice. 312. 907 again. Oh, I'm sorry. This was 906. I don't know if I said the right number. This is 907. I like that color. That's very pretty. I love that lime green color. $37.99, 402, Another bag of 310. They did give you a lot of 310, so that's probably why I had, they had that. And then another bag of 823. So one of the things that I was doing that I wanted to tell you was I was like kind of flicking the bag and kind of shaking it a little bit because I wanted to see what I was checking for was seeing if these drills were staticky or oily or stuck together. As you can see, they move around in this bag very easily. See, so that if they were, if they were any of the things that I mentioned above, oily, stuck together, staticky, they would like, if they were oily or stuck together, like if they're oily, you would see a film inside the bag, almost like it looks like it's wet. If they were stuck together, they would be moving in giant clumps. Like you see, even the, even the bags are pretty full, even these bags are they're moving pretty easily in the bag and they don't seem to be like moving in a giant clump. See what I mean? And then um, oily, clumped together, they would be moving in clumps. If they were staticky, then when you go to do this, the drills would all stay in one spot. Like they would, you wouldn't be seeing them move around like this because they would be stuck to the plastic and they would just stay there. 
even if you went like this, they would all stay in one spot. So that's what I, that's what I'm doing when I'm like looking at them and I'm like shaking them around like this and kind of flicking at them like that. I'm looking to see how they move in the bag and checking to see if there's any oil or anything inside. So, anywho, like I said, this is from Cotart. I bought it on Amazon and it was pretty cheap. I wrote it down somewhere. Hold on. My handy dandy notebook. Here it is. So I got this on Amazon on April 30th for $16.95. And today is April 7th, right? Or is today the 6th? No, today is April 6th, May 6th. Jesus, oh my God. No, today's the 7th. Today's April, oh, Lord have mercy. Let me start over, okay? Today is Wednesday, May 7th. right? No. Today's Wednesday, May 6th. Holy cow. Oh, <sighs> I'm like losing it. Today's Wednesday, May the 6th. I purchased this on Amazon on April 30th and I received it today. And it originally was supposed to be delivered on May 8th. So it came two days early. So thumbs up on the shipping Amazon. Um, and I, I got this for $16 and 95 cents. Um, so 1695 for a 16 by 20. Um, but the, if you go on like AliExpress, that's very expensive, but considering everything that you get, the quality of the canvas and the quality of the drills, I think this was an excellent deal. And I would, I would based on this, I would definitely uh, recommend them at this time. Um, and I love this tube too. I love this tube. But um, at this time, I would recommend them to other people and I will be ordering from them again. Um, and when I, when I get this um, diamond painting completed, you'll probably end up seeing it in like whipping chats and stuff. But when I get this diamond painting completed, I will do a final review on it, on how it worked out for me and how easy it was to use and or lay the drills down and stuff like that. So if you have any questions or any comments or anything, feel free to put them in the comment section down below. Um, if you are not subscribed to my channel but would like to see more go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below thank you so much for watching and spending time with me and i will hope to see you in my next video take care everybody bye